Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travel. So if you're um, watching my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. Today, um, here in the UK, North West Leicestershire, it's a beautiful, um, quite hot summer's day um, here in North West Leicestershire. Hi, if you're new here to my channel, please subscribe and a big th a thumbs up and thank you for doing so don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload and a big thank you for doing that i really appreciate it today i'm going to be doing um a, a video on the top 10 theme parks in the world this is according to travelsupermarket.com and um it's in no particular order but kicking off with number one um which are i've been to twice and um, is blackpool pleasure beach uk and um, i went once when i was nine years old and then um as i got older and i've got a video um on uh, my um lancashire web um vlogs um, on it so um, there's unbeatable ride icon and um, I went um, when icon wasn't built though um, but um, the ride looks absolutely amazing and fantastic but the unbeatable ride is icon now not only for the most uh, visited a tourist attraction in the UK but also uh, for rankings of one of the top 20 most popular amusement parks in the world Icon the first double launch roller coaster um, will replace the much loved uh, Wild Ma Mouse in 2018 um, Nickelodeon Land um, section also includes a pint sized wooden ro roller coaster um, moving on um, to number two uh, Walt Disney uh, World um, Resort Florida unbeatable ride Typhoon Lagoon at uh, Crush and Gusha uh, Florida has so many world class theme parks and it seems to it shame it seem a shame to single out every uh, what uh, one of them which i agree because uh, i've been to florida and um so many pit theme parks were so good such as the magic kingdom it was mgm studios at the time universal studios um Cop Centre um, when I went uh, and um, it's it's Sea World um, and um, all of them in their own unique way was amazing, um, but again it has completely altered um, through videos um, I've been wa watching and also photographs to what i went in 1992 i i went way back then um and had my 10th birthday on holiday uh, my brother was seven going on eight uh, but i thoroughly re recommend um again if you can afford to go to florida um uh, definitely go because again it's a wonderful experience um Walt Disney World surely um, does rate a mention as the world's uh, largest amusement park. It contains 24 hotels, 60 uh, theme and water ride and or well it contains 24 hotels, 6 theme parks and water parks and uh, four golf courses within the park typhoon at lagoon is the world's 
basically biggest water park um, when I was there um, it wasn't Taivu Taihoon Lagoon uh, but it was at Wet and Wild um, I didn't go to that though um, because we didn't have a, enough time and plus um, I don't think it suited my parents at the time anyway um, so but we went to other places um, in a 14 night stay like the Kennedy Space Centre and Daytona Beach which which was um, a, a really fabulous as well and um, in Florida and uh, number three is Everland Resort at South Korea unbeatable ride champion rodeo and um, a whole section is dedicated to American adventure um, and is devoted to America with the Wild West rides and the 1950s themed um, Rockville and um, the Rodeo Thrill ride. Um, it um, also has um, a very convincing Caribbean Bay section uh, with sun lounges, rustic huts and um, mini toots me um, carrying uh, through the pole um, every few minutes so if you want um, a theme park that's not just rides but also um, a lagoon um, well basically has a swimming pool as well as rides and Everland Resort in South Korea um, is a good one to pick um, especially if you're interested in going to South Korea number uh, four is Port Ventura Spain unbeatable ride Hurricane Condor on um, Spain's Costa Dorada which means Gold Coast. Port Ventura is the largest theme park in um, Southern Europe. The five themed areas are the Mediterranean, Far West, Mexico, China, Polynesia. The Horror Clin at Condor is one of the tallest rides in the world. Um, I've uh, been to a Spanish theme, uh, theme park but not um, Port Ventura um, it was called Terra Mitica which was um, just outside Benidorm and um, I really enjoyed that theme park when I went um, but obviously this is uh, much larger than Terra Mitica is the largest um, Park, uh, park in Europe and um, again it looks really good with all these themed areas and um, if you did get to visit or did want to visit um, number five um, is Ferrari World Abu Dhabi unbeatable ride Formula Ro uh, Rosa um, being the Ferrari at themed amusement park it would have been embarrassing for it not to have the fastest roller coaster in the world Formula Rossa and it also has the largest indoor theme park as well also containing that Formula One roller coaster again um, on videos it looks absolutely fantastic and if you are in Abu Dhabi and um, Arab Emirates then it looks um, again a really fantastic place to visit Num number six is um, Six Flag at Magic Mountains Los Angeles unbeatable ride for a full throttle ro roller coaster among 19 coasters wow it's at full throttle with the world's toilet vertical loop superman escape from 
Crichton uh, rider accelerates backwards um, 167 kilometres in 7 seconds wow Runner Express is a coaster for kids um, looks um, more sedate than, most, uh, than a lot um, so that looks um, a good theme park um, if you're visiting Los Angeles um, if you have maybe older and uh, younger children um, uh, to visit and number seven, uh, Universal Studios Japan, unbeatable ride is Hello Kitty Cupcake Dream. Um, one of the largest uh, theme parks in Japan has um, a strong American feel uh, to it again uh, with Hollywood, New York, San Francisco zones. Um, so again if you're in japan then um universal studios japan uh, could be a theme, a good theme park to visit um number eight um alton towers at uh, resort staffordshire uk unbeatable ride is the smiler um and again it also has a ho um, accommodation or Hutton Towers and a water park as, as well um, as other rides. I've been there three times and uh, yes I would rec uh, definitely recommend going if uh, you haven't already been. especially if you have more older children or teenagers or adults and um, number nine um, Tivoli Garden Denmark um, or unbeatable uh, ride at Runchkin Dunn opening in 1845 this um, inspiration at, for Disneyland um, is the centre of Copenhagen is best known for its wooden roller coaster Runchaban excuse my pronunciation one of the oldest roller coasters and uh, the more modern is Starflyer the world's highest uh, carousel wow that sounds really interesting especially if you're looking for um an old theme park and you're in um denmark and uh, number 10 is disneyland paris unbeatable ride it's um a small world the most um visited attraction in europe the park's top rides are small world and big thunder mountain Um, but um, I do recommend um, the parks that I've vi uh, visited um, Blackpool at Pleasure Beach um, Autumn Towers and um, the Florida um, Orlando Florida Walt Disney Resorts um, definitely recommend them a visit if you haven't already visited them um, so um, I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow for another top 10 video and um, I hope everybody has as good night and day as possible wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.